All right. Hello, everyone. Jeffrey Gardner here, and welcome to a very special episode of The Lost Bots. Today, we've got Dr. Mike Cohen, the creator of Velociraptor and our resident digital paleontologist, on with us today to talk about something which I think is really awesome. However, before we get to the main course, I'd like to start with an appetizer. Uh, Mike, for anyone out there who may not know who you are, or what Velociraptor is, um, can you give us like a brief overview? Sure. Um, if you haven't seen Velociraptor yet, I encourage you to check out our website in docs.velociraptor.app. But in a nutshell, Velociraptor is an endpoint visibility tool. And what that means is that uh, Velociraptor is a tool that you install on your endpoint like an agent. Uh, and it allows you to ask questions about the state of the endpoint, to do triaging, uh, and also to do remediations. For, so it's basically the, the perfect DFIR tool uh, that can carry on the whole process, right? But the thing that makes it really, really cool, and I encourage you to check it out, is that Velociraptor has this really powerful query language called VQL. And that means that you can actually write queries um, to adapt the type of detections, the type of things that, that the tool can do on the endpoint. And you, you can even use this query language to create remediations, enrichments, uh, collections, you can use it to, uh, you know, monitor for uh, changes to the endpoint and, you know, many, many other things, right? Post-processing, lots of stuff. So this is the really cool thing about it is being able to be so flexible about the way that, you know, you respond to, uh, to incidents and, uh, and, and remediate them. And you can do all that in sc at scale, right? That's the cool thing about Velociraptor is that it takes minutes to literally run these queries across thousands of machines at the same time and, uh, and, and pivot through the data that you find, you know, to, to be able to remediate uh, these kind of uh, breaches really quickly. So that's, that's really exciting for me to, to see what people can come up with this, uh, given the power of VQL and the flexibility of the tool, how can people apply that to new and novel kind of detections that, uh, you know, new, new kinds of techniques. Yep. And I, I've been using it um, for years. There's been threat hunting courses. There's some SANS content out there. It's super fast. And I mean, from an analyst perspective, you know, from the seat that I used to sit in, having the data come back in and have it be parsed and available, just ready to read and, and you know, not having to do any kind of weird Python scripting to get it into like a a human readable format is um, just awesome. So the reason for this episode is that there's a contest going on right now and running through midnight on September 21st, regardless of the time zone that you're in, called the 2021 Velociraptor Contributor Competition. Kind of a mouthful. Um, so what's this competition all about? And, you know, just from a judging perspective, who's going to be involved in that? So the, the coolest thing about Velociraptor is the flexibility. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to really kind of uh, challenge the community to say, well, you know, if you've got this tool that is, you know, so powerful, so flexible, and it has, you know, this, the ability to run these queries or, or content that you, you know, create user created content, uh, we wanted to share that content and create that kind of uh, repository where we put, people can kind of share these kind of detections uh, and everybody can benefit from that, you know? I mean, if someone creates a new detection for a new kind of threat, then uh, everybody can just simply just, you know, grab that, grab that query, run that across their network and improve the state of, you know, everyone's security, right? So we wanted to create this kind of a uh, little bit of a friendly contest kind of thing to have people, you know, just kind of like, um, uh, you know, kind of, uh, implement some really cool stuff. And I, I really want to kind of like sit back and see, you know, what people come up with. I'm very excited about, you know, to see people's creativity shining through here. So we are, uh, you know, we are kind of fostering this kind of um, community of uh, th this, this contest. And uh, there's going to be some prize money and some uh, cool, you know, memorabilia that you can, that, that you, you know, you'll get when you enter. And uh, really it's, you know, um, it's the first time we've run it. So, you know, we hope that uh, there'll be a lot of cool stuff coming through um, and, uh, you know, build up the community. If you've ever wanted to play with Velociraptor and didn't have, you know, time or you, you know, wanted to postpone it to later, what, what a wonderful new opportunity to try this out. You know, it's simply just 
as part of the contest, it's an, a new excuse, you know, to uh, to just get your hands a little bit dirty and play with the tool and and uh, figure it out. Um, so the contest is sponsored by Rapid7, uh, but actually it's judged by the community uh, as a whole. So we have um, a lot, uh, we've got uh, 10 the different uh, people in the committee, in the judging committee, uh, of which I think uh, six or seven are actually uh, external to Rapid7. So they're, they're different, different people uh, from uh, different um, uh cross section you know some of them are uh people who do ir some people are um people who teach you know courses and uh, and and these kind of things so we've got going to have a big big range of people but they're all very experienced people in dfir and you know they've used velociraptor before and and uh, are you know advocates of it so um so We'll hopefully get get a kind of um, uh, fair judging going on based on people's you know appreciation to uh, you know to 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 the uh, the contributions. And what about those prizes, sir? I heard I heard prizes. <laughs> what would those prizes be for anyone out there who might be interested? So we obviously uh, you know there's there's some uh, monetary prizes which will be which are you know pretty generous, um, uh, but also. We are uh, preparing some uh, uh, coins, which are going to have the Velociraptor on it. And uh, these are like honor coins, right? Once you submit to this uh, competition and, uh, you know, and, and have your name recognized, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, by submitting it and, um, you know, you, you could get one of those coins and, uh, and t-shirts and other things, you know, we're going to, we're going to make it kind of fun, right? Nice. I love I love challenge coins. That's one of the one of my favorite things from Sans courses. Well, yeah. back in the olden times when you actually went to a Sans course live, um, you know the team events at the very end of a course, and it was always that mark of pride if you got a challenge coin. So I definitely understand the the aspect of that. So you know, speaking of submission, um, if someone goes out there, downloads the Velociraptor, comes up with like a really cool query, and they're like, I want to submit this into this contest. Uh, how do they do it, and when are the winners of this contest going to be revealed? So um, we're going to have so basically how, how you submit. Um, you can go through the uh, the announcement on our website docs.velociraptor.app, um, and if you look on the left hand side, there's uh, announcements, and then there's the the uh, the details. You get all the details there. There's an email address. You'll send your submission into that. Uh, but what we actually want to we wanted to get a little bit of you know uh, to to, to you know good good submissions right so we want to have like you know a bit of a bit of an explanation a report no no report but like a bit of a, a write-up as to you know like why is this query cool to try and get sort of a feel to you know how useful it's going to be how impacted you know impactful it's going to be so you know to be competitive i guess you know you need to have like sell us on on how cool it is right Brush up your marketing skills. Get go back to college and figure out how to write an abstract all over again. Oh, uh, not that, but it's it's sort of like you know, for example, like if you're using this and you're like, oh, you know, we use this kind of thing all the time. It would be really cool. We see this kind of uh, attacks happen all the time. Um, that gives us a bit of a feel to like you know how useful that would be. You know, if it's something that's you know really obscure and nobody really you know sees that, then you know maybe it's less so. You know, like just help the judges. You know, try and kind of like you know, um, you know, uh, convince the committee, right? That's, that this is a really good submission, right? Um, so yeah, so once once you submit to that, then we'll have a couple of weeks, I think it's two or three weeks for the uh, committee to, you know, uh, elaborate and discuss, you know, the, uh, the submissions. And then I think we are going to announce the, uh, the submissions at the, at the SANS uh, Threat Summit. Uh, nice. which is October, it's, um, let me just check. <laughs> I think it was yeah. summer. <laughs> I mean, the details are uh, are uh, actually October 7th uh, to 8th, right? So um, so that's going to be really, really cool. And uh, and yeah, so so uh, yeah, submit and, uh, yeah, yes. and write something, right? It's going to be cool. Yes, definitely. It's, it does sound like an awesome contest. Um, and I will be uh, maybe throwing my hat into the ring uh, just just for fun. I know Rapid Seven sure. employees, you know, aren't aren't available to take part in the contest. But any anybody out there who wants to contribute to the community, you know, it's all helping us rise above and and join together. So the end point, 
basically, there's an amazing contest going on. Everyone, go join right after this video wraps. Go learn Velociraptor and go join the contest. Cash prizes over $10,000, challenge coins, and most importantly, eternal glory. Sorry for looking around, but every time I mention eternal glory, I'm just hoping Chancellor Gowron jumps out um, and joins us, but he hasn't yet. Um, but thank you, Mike, for joining us today, and a very special thanks to all of you out there for tuning in. Um, highly encourage everyone to enter the contest, but at a minimum, um, you know, just go check out this amazing creation called Velociraptor and see what it's all about. And I hope you all have an amazing day, and that we'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>